Hello. Hello, TikTok. We'll wait for some people to hop on. Hi, everybody. We got coffee going on here, so we're going to have gum. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Happy Samhain. Hopefully, Absolutely. you are doing something fun and spooky right now. For sure, yeah. Or just relaxing. That's fun, too. We're just waiting for some people to hop on. We are going to have some readings today. Michaela and I are going to bounce back and forth and do readings. So, um, if you were on last time, you may remember my little problem <laughs> understanding TikTok and nothing worked. Um, so... Really excited that she's able to come over to my house, and now it cannot fail. So here we are. <laughs> you can probably hear me chewing because we are miked. Oh, are we? <laughs> yeah. Oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no right. secrets here. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Hey, thank, thank you, you, Dina. We're just getting set up to moderate here. Mm hmm. This is my first time ever being on a TikTok live, so bear with me if I seem yeah. a little behind, Sarah. I'm just following along. Awesome. Okay, I'm a moderator. I got the moderating set up here. I have my husband's handy dandy iPad. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a fantastic day. All Yay. right. So everyone, welcome. We're gonna get these readings right now. This is Medium Michaela. She's a great friend of mine. We've really enjoyed studying mediumship together and spiritual practices. And today's goal is to get her to 1,000 followers so she can have her own shows. So that's today's super fun thing to do. Hello. Thank you, Hello. Sarah, for having me. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys see me looking down, I'm just doing some moderating. How is everybody doing tonight? Awesome. <clears throat> so right now we have um, 121 viewers. Wow. So we're going to go ahead and get started. That's a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, and guess what? Um, we're taking 10 candles tonight. They're right up there. 10 candles. Um, so... When you happen to go, leave a candle. I'll do my best to see that on moderating. Mm -hmm. There are a bunch of tablets and pens and oh, stuff yes. in here. I'm going to grab one. Thank you. Oopsie. Oh, sorry. Honey. <laughs> do you need one as well? Yeah, I think it'll be good. So we have our Samhain altar here. in orange and blacks and blues are part of the holiday. So we have all that going. We have a beautiful offering. We lit candles for our loved ones in spirit. Okay, guys, so we have the candles going on. Okay. Hello, I guess, and happy Halloween. Happy Michaela, would Halloween. you like to pick one first, or do you want me to pick one? Why don't you take the lead, and I'll follow. Okay. That sounds great. Um, Honest okay. Spirit 22, we don't need to do a cash app today, but I really appreciate that. Uh, what we need to do today is get medium Michaela Cox right here with us today get her 1,000 likes. So I will put her information in the comments and then I'll get the reading done so you guys can like her. So it is, it's at Medium Michaela, right? Yes, at Medium Michaela Cox. Hello everybody. Thank you for having me here with Medium Sarah. I'm so excited to be here tonight. Yep, go to at Media Michaela Cox. There is a candle. Thank you so much. Thank Deanna. you. Deanna. Okay. Let's see. What do we have going on, Deanna? And thank you so much for the candle. Thank you, Deanna. Okay. Everyone, go ahead and hold your comments, and we're going to get the reading started. Hold comments, everyone. The reading is starting now, okay? 
you'll see Atomic Dice come up. That's the moderating name. Okay, Deanna. And were you looking to get, uh, thank you. Were you looking to get um, a mediumship reading? Were you looking to connect with a loved one today since it's Sawen? Or were you looking to um, just have some general psychic advice? And I'll watch for your comments. This is for uh, Deanna, I'm reading, well, we're reading her now. <laughs> Actually, I am the one that's gonna do the reading, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Connect with my dad or my brother. I thought that I was getting a male energy, and since you um, have allowed me and permitted me to connect with your loved ones, I'll go ahead and get that done. Mm, okay. Was there some sort of an accident because I just, um, from a sign and symbol, when I see a snap of a finger, that means a very quick passing, potentially an accident. Um, so help me understand with that, Deanna, and everyone hold comments. And I just feel like there's something um, following you home or following in some way. Not that I know of with my dad, but my brother passed away with cancer. Okay, so I had this quick passing. So if that is the case, and when it's a quick passing like that, that's the snap of a finger. I just use that as a quick passing. So while he may have had very difficult time, um, at the end, it was a very quick passing. So I think people were, were worried about suffering then and just understand that you don't have to worry about that. All is well with him. Hold on one second. And I have, I see like a number 20 or was, um, this in the twenties or, uh, you know, somebody in their twenties, but I have a two zero coming in. I also keep seeing a bunch of water. Um, I think that this may have to do with um, either something that they did in the living or do you live near water? Was this vacation? Because now the water's coming in my mind. Sometimes when I get the water, that helps represent somebody like fishing or, or living near water or vacationing. Okay, so Deanna, I'm just looking for you coming through here. Any comments and everyone else hold comments because I'm going to read Deanna here. I also have some sort of a, a narcissistic um, word coming into my mind. Did somebody have, uh, were, was there a little bit of narcissism in the family about something or was somebody expecting something more than other people should get? But I'm getting this narcissism vibe. My dad loved fishing. Okay. So they come through to identify themselves in that way. So both your brother and your father came forward for you today. And to acknowledge with the fishing. But um, I also see limping. Was somebody limping? So Deanna, I'm reading you. So everyone, hang on. Thank you so much for joining everyone. I'm Medium Sarah McElroy. This is Medium Michaela. Hello, everyone. While we wait, I just want to let you guys know we're having an amazing fun time tonight because we're going to get Michaela to 1,000 followers on her page so she can go live. Okay. So I'm just kind of waiting to hear back from you. So um, please follow at Medium Michaela Cox. And I have her all over my page. So if you just go on my actual TikTok page, all her information is there as well. Thank you, everybody. Happy Halloween. So I'm just waiting for you to um, respond here, honey. My brother was 
Was lumping bothering him? Oh, limping, maybe? Oh, okay. Limping. Was it with the walking? He never wanted me to worry about it. I noticed it before he passed. Thank you for the confirmation. So these messages just come through to you on this Samhain to let you know as the veil is thin that they can communicate with you and that they're with you. Light a candle for them. That's what um, we have a whole little altar set up right here to celebrate Samhain and bring our loved ones in and um, just a remembrance and a candle lighting for all of our family and spirit. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the next one. All right, guys, give me a bunch of hearts. Let's get us up to 100,000 hearts tonight because we're gonna be on here a while. All right, and Media Michaela is gonna go ahead and do a reading now. We are doing um, 10 candles tonight. I just did a candle, uh, but we're still gonna read other people other than candles too. Okay, I'm going to look down while I watch for. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for tap tapping. Thank you so much for the roses. That's so sweet of you guys. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Oh, you should <laughs> light one for your mom and your best friend. That's awesome. Yes. Someone is saying they bought a candle, but it's not showing. Oh, okay. Let me check. Um, I see Deanna Caravan as the... Um, the only one to come this through. This is the only one that has shown me um, that's come through. But I will definitely keep watch for it. Maybe TikTok's running a little slow. Um, what is your name? Did you see that one? Ooh, I didn't see. Okay, I'll look around. Wow. Hello, Elaine. Hi, honey. On Hello, PJ. Hi. I recognize that name. <laughs> Honest Spirit 22. Um, I wrote you down. I'm just going to watch for the candle to come through. Hello, Toledo Spirit Hunters. Hello, Dennis and Maggie. How are you? Oh, they're going to be doing a spirit board investigation, guys. Go follow Toledo Spirit Hunters tonight. You want to see some crazy stuff? They have a haunted collection in their house. So, going to be crazy tonight. Oh, thank you, everyone, so much. All right. Are you um, finding anyone that you're interested in that's popping out to you? And I'll control the board. Thank you, Ariel. There was somebody who said that they would like to connect to their daddy. Hmm. Who what? was that that came through that said their daddy? Okay. Aw, they said you're so pretty. That's so Aw, nice. thank you. Just Jessica 89. Yep, okay, I just found it too. Awesome. Okay. And. Guys, I just have Sarah's notepad here. I'm just doing notes. It's automatic writing. It helps me to channel during my readings. Um, so, Jessica, we're going to go ahead and channel your father through here. I am automatically feeling something with my heart. Was this some kind of um, something to do with his heart, his passing, maybe a heart attack, or it kind of... I'm feeling like my heart is beating out of my chest right now. Um, so... And was it sudden is what this could show me as well. It was very sudden. Yes, it was cardiac. Oh my goodness. Thank you for that confirmation, honey. And just know that that's validation that this is him who I am connecting with. It's the first sign spirit's going to usually show. She said that was me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was cardiac. Yep, yeah, that was cardiac. You said, she said very sudden. Oh, He's showing me that he is with an older male. This would be maybe be his father. Is your grandfather in spirit as well? And would this man be smoking a tobacco pipe, the old fashioned style? Um, I do feel like this older male is who helped him cross over. And he needs you to know that like he wasn't alone in 
his crossing and his transition. Um, and everyone hold comments. She's got a reading in session. Thank you guys so much. Please follow at Media Michaela Talks. Post it in the comments. So he's showing me that your dad will often mess with your lights to try and get your attention. And he's often going to be messing with lights to show you and guide you um, and literally show you direction. Like, hey, if you see a light flashing in that area, he's like, come this way. You need to go that way instead of the way that you were going to take. So just know that that's not spooky chaos going on. That's your dad really trying to guide you from spirit. Do you maybe have that happening to you, Miss Jessica, with lights? often flickering around you or maybe not even around you but in places she said oh my god yes always oh my oh my gosh yes that is definitely him and okay what's with the rocking chair did he have a recliner or a rocking chair that he sat in often like it was his chair and where is that chair now if there is one um because he is acknowledging it in that kind of way that he may still sit there or somebody may sit there and he loves that they do that for oh, him thank you okay. beautiful gifts thank you i am seeing like headlights and caught like a car which can the rocking chair on the porch it was his place <gasps> oh my gosh the rocking chair that's amazing on the oh see mm -hmm. just know that you he is there still that is still his place of peace and tranquility and he visits often the family home okay um and i do feel something with the car so is this either traveling or are you thinking about going on a trip and if it's not that um <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me he definitely didn't get to say goodbye and that is what I'm feeling in my throat that's <clears> throat> mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's part of Claire's sentient those feelings and impressions I'm getting the heart feeling the the coughing that sh that's just spirit impressing upon me so he definitely didn't get to say goodbye and he is so sorry for that um but if you are if you're in the car, he's slow down is like, just take it moment by moment. You know what I mean? Don't be in such a rush to get to your destination, he says. So um, with that, honey, I'm going to go ahead and send him back to you. And do know that when your dad comes through, he's going to be sending you the number four and eight. I don't know if 48 is relevant or one or the other, but do know that they are kind of related because four is half of eight but four and eight is from your dad okay miss jessica so thank you for allowing me to connect with him and i'm going to release him back to you oh you talked to him in the car that's amazing mm -hmm. that's amazing see take it moment by moment that's why he's yeah. like don't be in such a hurry i like our talks oh, look at the beautiful gifts thank you everyone you are so welcome honey thank you isn't she fantastic? <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you, everyone. Thank so, you. I had a couple questions here, so let's answer some of those. First of all, this is Media Michaela Cox, and tonight is her 1,000 followers party. We need to get her to 1,000 followers. She's newer on TikTok. She's in the 400 range. Go over there. Give her a follow. Thank you so much. I'll Thank put her you. info in the comments so you guys can follow her. Um, tap. Give her some love. It's her first time live on TikTok. We tried to do this the other day um, at our own homes. Didn't work, so I just had her come on over, and we're getting in here doing this tonight. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for all the tap tappings, and I'd love to get to 100,000 over here. We have candles tonight um, as the big gift, and we'll do 10 of those guaranteed, and then we're going to still read other people as well, so we can do those in between as well. Oh my Excuse goodness, me. Oops. thank you. I keep tapping my mic. I'm so sorry, you guys, if it's lo it's loud. <laughs> I keep chewing my... And I'm burping. <laughs> I'm trying to be polite. Whoops. I think I set somebody. Set somebody something. Do you want to do another one? You want me to do another one? You can go ahead, honey. You want to Absolutely. Pray? We can go back and forth. Do you want to trade? Oh, that's okay. Okay. Um, Sarah Brady, Sarah X Brady, 
If you see it on... Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could. You can see it here, right? Okay, fine, mm-hmm. honey. Hello, everybody. Sarah Brady, you are the chosen one at this moment, if and everyone would hold comments. I super appreciate you hopping on, Sarah, and I saw you did some help with the moderating while I was trying to answer questions, too, so thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, look at these gifts. Thank you. That's amazing. So I'm Medium Sarah McElroy, and this is Medium Michaela Cox, and we're out of Northeast Ohio, and you can book us at the Sage Shack. The phone number is 330-871-9078. Michaela is a beautiful psychic medium. Look at how gorgeous. <laughs> As are you, Miss Sarah. We're all good friends there. We just have a wonderful time. And um, we also have medium Missy, who is the owner of the Sage Shack, and her husband, Trevor, who's the Reiki master and demonologist of the Sage Shack. So fun there. He does a lot of stuff. <laughs> so um, we have a wonderful uh, career. This is what we do full time. All right. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to pick somebody. I'm going to read somebody. And this oh, is Sarah can, yeah. X. Brady. And I already picked you because I get sidetracked. <laughs> with blonde, I guess. Oh, you're from Northeast Ohio, too. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, Sarah. And you wanted to talk to your dad. Okay. He's showing me. I got the word clue. And I'm going to have, like, coffee breath, honey. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I don't mean to get... <laughs> no, get off in here. You're going to be able to suffer no, through it. I don't. Uh, <laughs> so I got this um, clue uh, word. Are you looking for clues to find something? Is that why he's showing me this? But I keep getting this clue. Or does that have to relate to, like, some sort of a game? Yeah, I was going to say it's a game board. It's it a could game. be a game. But that's your symbol, my girls. Well, you know, I just say what I see, and you guys have to help me understand what I'm seeing. Blues, clues. Oh, yeah, that's cute. <sighs> okay, so let's see here. Oh, my God, yes, he told us he hid stuff around the house before he passed. Yeah. So, are you looking for a clue then tonight, I bet? Oh, that's my gosh. Awesome. He also told me to say the word ranting. I think somebody was like ranting, like, ah, I can't find it. Money. He claimed to hide money from us. <laughs> yes. What a stinker, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, let's get you a clue. I need to clear my mind on that one because I don't want to be distracted by places in a home that, you know what I mean? You got to clear your mind and just go blank. Oh, um, I just saw pulling the carpet up or a board up. So whatever is on the floor, I'm seeing pulling it up. Cause I'm like, hmm, I'm touring the house. I'm like, am I in the ducks? Where am I at? Am I in a cupboard? And then I just saw a carpet or like floor pulling up. Oh my up. gosh, have you done that? Because I have done that before looking for a spirit clue. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone, by we the way. We just cleaned the carpet yesterday. Okay. There's something to do with the carpet. You're getting hot, he says, maybe. It might be under the floor. I'm not sure. I mean, I'd hate to have you do that with the floor. Her face reaction was priceless. We have been talking about ripping it up. It's old. <gasps> you might find something then, sweetheart. I'm going to wish you luck on that one. And thank you for letting me connect to your father and spirit. He is an ordinary one for sure. I certainly love him. All right. Thank you guys. Happy Halloween to everyone. I'm Medium Sarah McRoy. This is Medium Michaela Cox. And tonight is her follow party. Um, we tried to do this the other day from our own homes. And it didn't work out because I'm not super on TikTok. And didn't realize she already had to have a thousand to go on here. So I just brought her over to the house. Yeah. Girl stay. <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to do this here, and I'm going to share the information with you so you can go follow her. we got to get her to 1,000. She's really good, and she could then go live, too. Now, there's three of us at the Sage Shack, all valid mediums, myself, Michaela, and Medium Missy, and I'm going to do a show like this with her, too. So you're going to get to meet all of us. Okay. Yes, Missy is amazing. She is actually who taught me everything. Yeah. I keep doing it. Sorry. No, okay. Me, everything I know about mediumship. Wonderful. So, yes, you'll love and- her. I actually was looking for my tribe. I was like, I need to find people like me. And she had this class, and the uh, Medium Missy has a class called Soul School. Definitely call the shop if you're interested in classes because 
wow. And I thought I was just all smart and knowing of everything, you know, and I went into soul school and it humbled me and it, oh, thank you for the crown. And it humbled me and um, it brought me into a mediumship, but it also brought me into a whole group of wonderful people that are like my closest friends. And we have a podcast called The Comedian Mediums. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool because there's three different decades. We got Michaela, who's in her 20s. I am um, Missy's in her 30s and I'm in my 40s. So we have just like a nice little blend mm -hmm. um, in different types of knowledge, modern, old, you know, just goofy, like we're funny on there. Um, and I just saw someone comment if you ever do like normal questions, if mm -hmm. that would entail like just asking questions about sure. spirituality, which I suggest yeah. um, checking out the comedian mediums because we talk about a lot of oh my gosh, yes. stuff and tips and stuff about how to live as a medium and the oh, practices absolutely. we do so yeah and happy Samhain and happy Halloween I know how spooky is it we didn't do that on purpose either just was like what are you doing on Monday and it just so happened to be Halloween I know right why is this not working there we do read tarot cards yeah, especially you. Yeah, that is my juju. Oh, I actually you. teach a tarot class, too, every month. The last Tuesday of every month. Hello. Oops, I accidentally tagged somebody. <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to tag you. I'm sorry. That's just me not doing things correctly. Okay, <laughs> I am here. feeling super drawn. Should I go ahead? Yes, there... absolutely. Texas summer. Texas summer. Is there anybody specific you're looking for? I'm just going to go ahead and pull. Do you do painting or do you like to paint as a hobby? Because I am feeling super Bob Ross energy coming through. You're very creative. And if you, um, and if it's not painting particularly, it's something to do with like a canvas, a blank canvas. Does this, yes. Okay. Um, so is this something that maybe you, you've taken a pause on? Because I'm literally hearing do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, you need to get back onto your flow of opening up those wands. You know, that creativity flowing. I've been telling myself that for months. Are you getting a new car? She said I've been telling myself that for Oh, months. okay. Mm -hmm. Or something to do with your car, your driver's seat, something like that. Um, is it being moved or I'm not sure. Something going on with your vehicle. Do you recall, Texas, is there anything specific that's kind of out of ordinary going on? Because I keep getting the vehicle, but not specifically traveling. It's something to do within the inside of it, so. I am seeing, like, you need to take a break. It won't move at all, she said. Her car won't move? It won't move at all. Oh my gosh, so you're having vehicle issues. Oh, and that may be why I'm just about to say you need to take a break, okay? Because maybe that's the universe's way of saying you're on the go too much. Now is the time to rest at this time. I mean, obviously, in this day and age, we need cars to live, um, but kind of embrace the moment right now that you don't have one. Does this make sense? Make the most, the best of it, the most positive of it, if that is making sense. And then I am seeing a key. A key. This can be moving. 
Sorry. I had to get it's that okay. in there. I'm trying to put mm-hmm. your name up there. Oh, thank you. Um, a key or... She said yes. Yes. Okay. So this can be, too, that that new beginning is, like, it's literally at your doorstep. So just know that you will be receiving that key to what you've been... I'm moving. Oh, she's moving in January. Very nice. Awesome. So Very good. Nice. This would just be your validation from Spirit, honey, that you're on the right track. Um, I do feel headphones, so embrace that music. You know, if that is what you do to meditate, keep doing it. Do it often. Um, and maybe use that music to help you open up that creativity flow and get it going again. Mm-hmm. So thank you, Mrs. Texas Summer, uh, for allowing me to pull your energy tonight, honey. I hope that helped you. Thank you for the compliments, everyone. Terry Weatherby, 84, thank you. I know um, I've had my head down. You've had to look at my part. <laughs> Put my witchy, witchy hair in for Halloween. Medium Michaela Cox, M-I-K-A-Y-L-A-C-O-X, Michaela Cox. Sarah has tagged me in a couple videos on her page. If you do just go to Sarah's page, you should be able to find it there. Thank you, everybody. That's my goal. I would love to go live as well. And then if I have the ability to go live, Sarah and I can pull each other on yep. and do tag team readings. I'm it's so fun, excited. right? Yeah. It's so fun, guys. All right. Well, let's see. We're ready to do another one. And don't forget tonight, guys, and thank you so much for tap, tap, tapping and sharing and following Michaela. I'm doing candles tonight. They're right here. They're guaranteed, and I have nine slots left for guaranteed reading tonight. Um, and then tap, tap, tap. And let's see. If anyone has any questions, we can answer a few questions for you while we keep going here. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to look down. And... Is that easier to see? Mm-hmm. Can you see this better? Yes. Mm-hmm. Aw. I just saw my name and I missed it. But that's okay. They come in fast. You weren't lying. Mm-hmm. I love it. Oh, there. Oh, it's okay, Elaine. That's okay. That happens so often. <laughs> yep. How did you discover your talents? I saw someone ask here. That's a very good question. Honestly. Sean Duke. I didn't. I think it really took others to show me what I had, honestly. And I actually uh, saw Missy, medium Missy, who we work with. Mm -hmm. And she said that I have the mark of a medium. Mm -hmm. Uh, And which is a very, like it's a prominent sign in the center of your third eye here. Often there's arched eyebrows associated with mediums as well. Like (laughs) Sarah's nice Virgo eyes over there. (laughs) Um, but yeah, and then I was like, no freaking way. And, but honestly, everybody is psychic. It's just trusting that gut. If you mm-hmm. feel like that is a crappy person standing over there, then they're a crappy person because your gut told you so, yeah. you know? So it's just even little things. Taking it in your day to day will help to bring it into your lifestyle. I think so too. And there's certain frequencies that you get into, and it really is a elevated frequency. I forget the number, it's like seven. There's research that's been tested on this. So um, look up uh, Delta Waves or DMT, and it'll help you expand. Absolutely. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. You wanna keep, and happy Samhain, and happy Halloween. Do you wanna keep going? Um, do you want me to do one? Sure, absolutely. Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one? Oh. <laughs> um. Do you want me to do you one? Can do or one did you yeah. want to Didn't do I one? just do one? Yeah. Yeah, your turn. Okay, We're you going to go back and forth? A-B okay. pattern. <laughs> okay, okay. It's my daughter's learning that. <laughs> How cute is that? Thank you guys so much for the love and the gifts. Thank you so much. And I'm just going to grab somebody. Aw, thank you guys for the roses. Thank you, thank you. I'm just looking through here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Aw, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And we're going to keep going here. Thank you. Is that? Oh, 
らないうん
she sleeps with a stuffed dog. Aww. A lot of children that have gifts will have a little a little toy that they sleep with. Not all kids like to sleep with stuff. And my I'm not talking don't. about, like, a little bit. Like, I have a blankie. And my husband has his blankie. Like, I have to have something like that mm-hmm. with me all the time. I literally have a, a huge... It's not huge, actually. It's a very small throw pillow that has, like, llama on it. And it says, llama love you or something. And I beat the crap out of it. And I have to have it every night, though. It's just... So, there's something with that. And maybe she's receiving a lot of her downloads or messages in the evening hour. And that dog is what keeps her safe and feeling safe. You know what I mean? With what she has around her. All right. Well, we're going to release that reading back to you. Um, good luck having a psychic child because we are totally <laughs> feral. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> there is a lot to it. <laughs> um, an Aquarius can manage us very nicely. We've noticed, <laughs> literally. Air signs <laughs> seem to be able to manage whatever it is that's going on with us. We're, we're like a little bit crazy, so that's okay, though. You are welcome, sweetheart. All right, guys, let's fire it up. We're going to get another reading going on here. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Um, we're doing candles right here, guaranteed readings. And um, I'll just check those, make sure they're good. Yeah, we're doing guaranteed readings. And tonight we're following Michaela because we're trying to get her to a 1,000 followers. So let's do that. I'm going to put it, you can look on my page. I have all her information there anyway. But she's going to find somebody. Take a second, Michaela, I'm going to put your name up here. Yes, we do have a candle going, honey. Oh, I have all kinds of stuff going. I have I have an offering cauldron. <laughs> um, we have two levels of incense. We have our pumpkin or gourd, I should say. We have uh, runes. We have a feather. We have sage. I mean, we have a whole altar that we set up tonight for Samhain and to do readings with everyone and give you beautiful messages. Who keeps commenting Glessy? Oh. Glessy. Oh. Take your time. Thank you guys for the gifts. Thank you. Follow at me, you don't Michaela Cox. I'm putting it up here. I'm still looking at it. I don't know. I can't see it. There's no. Oh, okay. <coughs> Honest Spirit 22. Or maybe. Oh, look we already at... read her. Did we? Oh, yeah. Maybe oh. Oh, no. We wrote their name down. Go ahead and do Honest Spirit 22. Honest Spirit 22. Because yeah. you said you sent a candle, but... Um, it didn't show up, so it may show up. Maybe it'll show up later. And she is saying that you were drawn to it, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you are. You're still here, honey. Okay, so I do feel like there is a female in spirit that is stepping forward for you. And there's something going on. She's she's first of all, wants to let you know that she is your angel. And if you have some kind of little angel figurine, a little crystal carving, something that is just an angel, she's acknowledging that and she loves that. Um, but I'm also seeing seashells. So maybe this woman lived near the beach or she liked the beach. Um, okay. Crystal. Oh no, that's something else. Everyone hold comments, please. She said yes. And she said yes again. Okay. I'm seeing it. Thank you. Is there something to do with whales or dolphins? And then she said, I don't know. This may be the feeling of they are free. Like you think about how big the ocean is and how free, you know, it must feel to just have all of that. You know what I mean? So I, and all these feelings of water and the seashells and the whale, the dolphin, it's very peaceful. And this person needs you to know that they're at peace, but also the water may be something that you're very drawn to as well. And that could have to do with your, um, 
your spirit, your cleansing method, and you may not even realize it. You don't have anything like that? Okay, honey, that makes, you know, don't make it fit if it does not fit. So just give me a second here. Okay, there is definitely a male here, and he is older, but I'm just trying to figure out. He's showing me like a fire pit that he, that was like handmade and built. Does this mean anything to you on his spirit 22? Yes, I got one, but he was gone when it was made. Oh, wow. So I would say that that's his way of letting you know that he was with you during that. And um, he loves it. You know what I mean? That's just My validation. Made it for us. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. Is there a B name in your family? Um 22. 22, I'm going to call you that because um, that was why 22. I was so drawn to your name. On a spirit 22. And then everybody, please follow at medium Michaela Cox. That's how you spell it. Just give that there a second. Sorry for my fingernails. They're a mess. I ripped off my nails. <laughs> okay. It's an old wash tub. Oh, that's really cool. <sighs> Your son's name is Billy, and that's his dad's name that passed. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. Oh, my goodness. Please just know that this Billy is definitely with um, you and his son. And it was very important that he, he made his appearance because I was just getting ready to send your spirit team back to you. And there was, like, one last thing they wanted to send, and it was the letter B for you. So just know that you may wonder sometimes if he's not and you need to know that he is okay so thank you 22 for allowing me to read you tonight honey i'm gonna send your team back to you follow medium michaela cox m-e-d-i-u-m-m-i-k-a-y-l-a-c-o-x and we're doing this show tonight so you can see how great she is we're trying to get her to a thousand followers that's the goal tonight she's got over 400 now but we got to get her all the way up to a thousand. Thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. So we are medium Sarah and medium Michaela out of Northeast Ohio. Hello, everybody. Thank you. I'm just Thank typing some things in here. We can answer some questions while I type a few things in here. Any questions for us? What about mediumship or anything like that? Yay. We do have 27,000 likes. That's amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That's phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you for becoming a top viewer. Cupcake, I think I saw your name fly through there. Oh, that's so cute. Thank oh. you. You guys are awesome. Oh, there's a candle Yay. coming in. Oh, Guaranteed amazing. reading, Brittany. Brittany, you are a guaranteed reading. And I don't know why it's not showing up back here, but I saw it on come in. Sometimes TikTok oh. screws up like that, but that's okay. It shows up there now. It does. Let's just take a second. Because I just want to get your name. Yeah, that's what I was like. Who was it? What was her name? I think it's Brittany. So if you send a candle 
if everyone could go ahead and hold your comments just hold your comments because someone sent a candle and that is a guaranteed reading and now we only have eight left okay so um, Brittany sent a candle I'm just trying to find uh, where you are and everyone hold comments except for Brittany spirit can be disappointed honey I saw you ask that like a a few times so I figured I'd let you know <laughs> Real quick. yes everyone please hold for Brittany hi Brittany you said yes there she is and would you like um, what type of reading would you like since you sent a candle what is important to you today thank you everyone mm -hmm. yeah everyone go ahead and hold comments hold comments I'm gonna read Brittany thank you everyone you're so sweet thank you for tap tapping Okay, Brittany, you looking to talk to a loved one today? Or are you looking for some spiritual advice? I can even do tarot cards. Whatever you would like, honey. So, Brittany, I'm, I'm all ready to read you. Probably a little bit of a delay since, you know, for TikTok. Oh, Brittany, whatever you're most drawn to, please. Okay, Brittany. Brittany Williams. I wish I put my music on. I love having my music in the background. Okay, sweetheart, I'm gonna go ahead and get your reading started. What music? I like to listen to the, my like binary beats. Oh, do you want me to YouTube some? Oh my God, yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, we're about to get some binary beats fired up. Yay. Oh, thank you. Look, we have another little candle. Thank you. Thank you. I wrote your thank name you, down, Thank you, everybody. Samantha. So sweet. Samantha, there you are. Beats. Okay, and I like any of the, like, any of them. Yeah, any of them. That's fine. This might sound a little weird. Just leave us go. <laughs> like, just let us do it. Okay. All right, Brittany. Whatever I am drawn to for you, sweetheart. And then, oh my goodness, thank oh, you. Oh, thank you all so much for the candles, everybody. Okay, Brittany. I have a strong, domineering woman. Mm -hmm. I feel a strong, domineering woman energy. Tell me about that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you. We were halfway to our call, everybody. Thank you. Um, so, Brittany. Help me understand that. Thank you guys. If everyone could hold comments, I'm gonna read Brittany real quick here. So I have this strong domineering woman. I feel like, oh, you said yes. I feel like really tough, like I see a hammer. Like this is somebody that can get things done. Like I can't use a hammer. My ex-girlfriend. Oh, yeah, I can't use a hammer. <laughs> so your ex-girlfriend must have been able to build things and, like, you know, do things like that. Excellent. Thank you, honey. This is brought to my attention, and I felt like this was a living person, so please let me know. I do believe they're still living um, for your ex-girlfriend. I don't know if you're over this just yet because it's being brought to my attention, so somebody's not over it. Are they contacting you? Are they trying to bug up in your life or something? Oh, thank you for the tickets. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> are they trying to bug up in your life? Like, what are they trying to do here? So everyone hold comments, because I'm reading Brittany right now. She is. Okay. When spirit brings this to my attention, I want to let you know that this is a precautionary. I don't think that any sort of reunion here is going to be beneficial to you. I never felt good about this, so I feel like it's definitely important for you to go ahead and start distancing yourself. You know, it's hard to be friends after relationships, and but if there's any way that you can do that, sure, then you can have each other in your life as friends, but... We are still in contact. We are still in contact, yeah. I don't see this as being like a... A successful relationship but possibly a great friendship so you might not I, I just don't feel like you're meshing um, I feel like you kind of are you passive-aggressive with her like she's kind of like 
more domineering and are you like kind of say stuff that's like a little bitey but not uh as direct because i feel like um very dominant woman here And I keep seeing money signs. He says, we actually just hung up the phone discussing getting back together. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's why this message is coming in hot and heavy, girl. I don't think this is going to be the right path. But you know what? You guys do whatever you guys are going to do. I do really feel like this is... Did your mother... So she said her mother passed, oh. too. Did she like birds or bird houses? Did she have a lot of bird feeders or something? Because that was the first thing I got to when I'm pulling your energy. And I'm just wondering if this is just her way of getting this, like, this is her message for you to, you know what I mean? From Sarah. Sarah's just the messenger. Oh, and Brittany, you said you're definitely direct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I got two uh, direct people here. Ooh, clash. Because I was feeling like, are you being passive aggressive or something? Um, maybe she's even perceiving it that way. That's the feeling that I have. So there might be some perception there that I'm picking up on. Oh. My oh. mother is still alive. I'm sorry, honey. I must have misunderstood. Okay. You may be pulling a different person with the the mother energy because there's somebody in here that keeps saying mother, 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 That's mother. That's true. Thank well, you. that's definitely the message you needed to hear, Miss Brittany. So. Yeah, I'm just looking through here. So thank you. We're going to move on to the next um, candle. Thank you so much, Brittany. And um, um, Samantha W8168. Samantha. Here they are. Okay. Lexi Potter, too. Hi, Samantha. And thank you guys so much for watching tonight. I mean, we're really excited about this. We're trying to get Michaela to a thousand followers so she can go live. She's really freaking good. Like, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Tap, tap the screen. Uh, give her some likes. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you guys for helping out here. Yes, hold comments for Samantha. What kind of tablet is that? Oh, it's an iPad. Um, of so My husband's a professional artist. And so I'm just using all his, you know, his little pen thing. He's kind enough to let me borrow it, but it's it's really nice. I saw he airbrushed your address on the front door. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Well, not airbrushed. Oh, you no. know, he, we is have, that what it is? He hand painted that, but we have an airbrush thing. You do? Yeah, my oh. husband does like really sweet stuff. Like he paints hot rods and motorcycles. And it's phenomenal. He's, he's pretty sweet. And he's been on Discovery Channel, being sports, Velocity, what? Speed Network. Yeah. I didn't know that about Bob. We're humble people. You guys are <laughs> basically celebrities here. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. So you're doing, are you working with Samantha today? Yes. Are we okay. waiting for her? To um, she's here now, honey. Um, she said she's here. Oh, okay. She said, that's me. Hi. And she's got a happy face with smileys. And she said, I'm here. 
Yeah, we're doing readings tonight, guys. Michaela and I tapping the screen, giving some love. We're doing 10 total candles. There's four left. And those are guaranteed. If you do a candle, they're guaranteed. We have four left, but we're still reading other people too. Those just happen to be guaranteed. Miss Samantha, do you have a male in your life who has very feminine energy? Because I feel it, I do feel a very um, feminine male stepping forward. And like the way that he was very in tune with his emotions, he maybe even dressed well, presented himself well, or, you know, just seemed uh, like, you know, very feminine in tune with his feminine energy so that's kind of what i'm feeling and i do feel like he has some kind of facial hair going on is this somebody that you know samantha your son is gay okay so he's into his feminine energy and he is very much embracing that right now and do know that you are absolutely doing the right thing for him and doing what's best for him right so i feel like you needed that reassurance um and uh i feel like there's maybe people in your family who you know maybe have an older mindset about that and don't take any mind to them is what I'm hearing like and you don't so that's what gives him his confidence I hope you know that um but that was what I was feeling right away and he does look up to you I do feel like uh is there something to do with a motorcycle do you ride motorcycles I'm getting a helmet like a bike helmet um so this could if you don't ride motorcycles or anything, it could just be, you know, stay safe and, or you, you worry for his safety a lot, which is just a given, you know, but have you ever gotten a motorcycle? No, I don't ride. Sarah? What now? In spirit? Oh yeah. What would, what would it mean to you? <laughs> There's a couple of things <laughs> because we're bike people. I look at it as armor and putting armor around your head. In protecting your mind from a negative energy, protecting wow. you from other people's psychic attacks. I look at it as a spiritual symbol in that way. That would make so much more sense. She says, no, I don't ride. Mm -hmm. So that would show me that you give that armor to your son. It's like you handing him the helmet. Mm -hmm. um, and that allows him to uh, fully embrace himself and grow up without resentment towards himself. So just know that that's a very important role that you play in his life. Um, I do feel like you do have a grandmother on the other side who has short, dark, curly curls and maybe highlights, okay? And she's sending you butterflies. Does this sound like a grandmother that you have or even a mother figure, um, Samantha? Yes, I think I know who you're talking about. Okay, so she just made her presence known there real quick that she is with you and um, she is definitely sending you butterflies. So with that sign as well, I see a lot of evolving. You're going through huge transitions in your life right now and kind of blossoming that balance, okay? Learning to do that um, in whatever ways it may be for you. Some it's work and home, some it's, you know, money and work whatever it may be honey but you're learning to balance and i do see a ring whether you're getting married or her name is francis oh her name is francis oh that's awesome oh my gosh okay that's a beautiful name Do you have a ring of hers? There's something to do with a ring. If you're not getting, if you're not engaged or something, there may be a some sort of uh, recognition of a commitment is kind of what a ring represents to me. So. All right. And then I do want one last thing for her. A 
I'll just type it. You have her eyes. You have Fran's eyes. Does that make sense? I have my grandmother's ring. Oh, look at yeah. that. Oh, she loves that you have it. How special, Samantha. Oh my gosh, that is so special. What validation. Yes. Yes, so. you have her eyes. See, oh my gosh. That is amazing. So she is living on through you. Do know that. And she is one of your guides. She's helping you um, with your spirituality, sending you those signs. Definitely look out for butterflies, honey. So with that... I'm going to go ahead and send her back to you, honey, and thank you thank for allowing you, me to pull her through. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to introduce her again since there's new viewers. Um, this is Medium Michaela Cox, and we're doing a thousand like party right now. We need you guys to go follow her and get a thousand likes for her on her page so she can go live. She's an exceptional medium. Uh, we work together along with another medium named Medium Missy and her husband, who's a Reiki master and demonologist. This is our full-time job. So this is what we do. Yeah. And she said, thank you so much. You're so welcome, honey. My fingers hurt from tapping. Thank Aww, you. Aw, thank you. Okay. Lexi is another candle here. All right, Potter, sister. Five, three, three. Have at it. Okay. So that's the person I'm going to keep watch for. Lexi, 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 where are you at? I'm ready to do your reading. Just let me know in the comments. Um, Medium Michaela Cox, M-I-K-A-Y-L-A. I know it's spelled many different ways nowadays. I'm putting it out here for you, honey. Here's her, here's her connection. There you go, guys. There she is. Oh, I, yes, I'm here. Excellent. What kind of reading are you... Oh, thank, thank you. you. What kind of reading are you looking for? We only have one candle left, Sarah. I know. It's exciting. That's amazing, you guys. <laughs> thank you, Mama Calhoun. That's very nice, too. Anything helps. Whatever comes to you. All right, guys, so it's time to hold comments. I'm going to go ahead and read Lexi. Thank you so much, everyone. Whatever comes to me. Okay, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you can hold this up, too, if you want to. Oh, yeah, let me I think know. I'm just going to use my mind. <laughs> Medium, Michaela, Cox. <laughs> I know it's backwards, but you'll figure it out. Is it? <laughs> no, yeah. Happy Halloween. Happy Sawen. Okay, Lexi, everyone hold your comments, and you said whatever comes to me. Okay, everyone. We're still going. We, we have plenty of time. We're still mm -hmm. going. We're having fun tonight. So um, don't go away just yet. Keep following, sharing. Oh, no, yes, here we go. Thank you. And don't forget to hit follow me, too. <laughs> okay, Lexi. Well, I got a job right away. So I started picking up on money. I also feel like, I'm going to tell you, honey, I feel something shady going on here. And I don't know if someone's like being dishonest with you about money or something with money. Um, but I feel really strange about that. We got your candle, honey. Thank you. Yep. I see, lady. You're, we're not done yet. We're still going, so don't you worry. Please hang on. Um, so I'm just trying to help understand what's going on there, okay? And hold on. I also have an old-fashioned car. An old-fashioned car just popped in my mind. So I'm just trying to clarify some of these signs and symbols. And I also feel like um, my dad and I work with cars together. Nice. Okay. Thank you so much for that confirmation. This is interesting. So 
who's being dishonest about something? Something's going on. That's none of my business. I'll leave that there. I don't know what you guys, you know, are doing. And she probably already knows, <laughs> too. That's I'm just going to let that go. Um, but I just want you to know, Spirit is acknowledging it, and um, they'll ask them. They'll help you th through anything. Just be very direct. So I think something's happening there. Oh, yeah. Books. With the books? With the books. Like with the books? Oh, cooking the book. book like being <laughs> shady with the books? Or something, yeah. You know? I'm not saying you're doing that, but... Maybe somebody around you Maybe is. somebody around you, or, you know, maybe you just need to... Like, we may see this in a, in a light that just gives you a clue to say, maybe I better double check that. Mm -hmm. It could even be there was a mistake and we're supposed to tell you something's not right. Yeah. Either way, something's not right. Maybe Overlooked. there was a mistake. and a, Yeah, it's just something is wrong. And maybe it could be a problem, with, you know, for you in the future. If not, figure it out. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's going on with your dad, though? Because I'm being, I had, I was brought to this point to talk to you about your dad with the cars okay you said we have new owners and sometimes I get weird feelings at work mm -hmm. you should then then trust your gut instinct that's your intuition but so that's one thing for you and your dad to handle there but the other thing is I was brought to talk to you about your dad for some sort of reason and um I don't know what's going on like Sometimes when I see the blood or sometimes when I see swelling or things with the body, because I'm not a medical professional in any way, shape, or form, and I'm not giving medical advice, I'm using my clairs as a psychic medium to sense things. And I feel in this point right now, what I'm sensing is your dad has something going on with his health. Um, and since I don't know all the medical terms, I'm feeling like, like um, a diabetes type thing, kind of a common health issue maybe a blood pressure thing, but I'm feeling something here with his health. And was he not going to the doctors and getting checkups or something? Is he like anti-doctor? So these are some things. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're going to keep going. We're doing, we're having a great time. I'm trying to get the candle up here. So while I wait for you, you're spot on. Just started going. Yeah, there's something happening there, honey. I'm just a little worried about that one. Why isn't that coming up? Oh, well. Okay. So I need you to understand that it's important to stay in connection with this health situation. Okay. Um, and I'm going to leave that with you and I'm going to go on to the next reading. Um, but your message is take care of your father and watch out for those shysty new business owners. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at for you. All right. Thank you, Lexi. Thank you. Next. I see. I see. You were, you were, thank you. Thank you. I see your, is it I you. see New York lady. And why lady? Uh -huh. I see <laughs> is New, York, New York lady. That's awesome. I bet Thank it you is. guys. We're still going. We did reach our goal, but we're going to do more readings afterwards. Thank you for the goal tonight. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for the roses and all the tap, tap, taps. We'd love to get to 100,000. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. There she is. Hi. Okay. All right, Media Michaela Cox, everyone. I'm going to type a couple little things in there. Please hold your comments so she can do her reading. Um, just hold comments while Michaela's doing her reading. All right. Okay. New York. I'm going to call you New York. I hope that's okay. Um, is the number five relevant to you or the month of May? So there could be like you're a sibling of five or you have five, a family of five or the month of May is relevant for a birthday, a passing, an anniversary, anything with a special day in it uh, in the month of May. So does this make sense, Miss New York?
I do feel a male in spirit for you, Miss New York. Do you have a male on the other side? I do feel that he was very... Um, yes, grandmother's birthday. Grandmother's birthday. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Okay, so I do feel like there is grandma, but also a male with her as well. And I am feeling like they are going to be communicating with you through music. And I know I've said that before, but I, this was very specific. Guitar, like you'll feel the guitar, you'll hear it in the song, that kind of thing. Um, also listen to the lyrics, but definitely I feel like rock and roll. Whoever this male was, he may have just been a like classic rock kind of guy. Does this sound like anybody that you have, Miss New York? And then um, grandmother is definitely sending the number eight to you. And I don't know if this is your birthday as well, but this is your validation that she is with you in that moment when you see the number eight or 888 or 88. Um, just know that that's grandma like, hey, I'm here by your side, okay? I am seeing a young baby, a small, like a little girl, a little baby girl. So if you have a baby girl or um, you may have one soon, <laughs> uh, I do see a beautiful bow and a beautiful baby girl. And does the name Patrick, <laughs> I literally just got Patrick from SpongeBob <laughs> in my third eye. So if it's not the name Patrick, then it's probably SpongeBob, the <laughs> That's cartoon. That's freaking hysterical. <laughs> it could be a cartoon sometimes because people, you know, have special cartoons. Yeah, absolutely. We watch cartoons. My husband's a cartoon drawer, so he draws all kinds of fun stuff. That's his Patrick Star, Patrick too. Star. <laughs> Okay, honey, so I'm gonna just continue to connect while I wait for some feedback from you. I do see that there is a spirit that you, ha there is a loved one in spirit you have that uh, passed in their sleep very peacefully okay so I'm not sure who this is and I'm having a hard time figuring out gender just to give you validation of who this is um, but they need you to know that they are okay and they didn't feel anything okay they it was just like they went to sleep okay your father oh my gosh honey is that Patrick is that the right name? Is it which, what about your father, honey? Is that the male you have in spirit that likes rock and roll? Or is all of this kind of making sense? I do see like a wheelchair. He may have been wheel, like unable to walk near the end of his time, honey. He says you pray to him. <gasps> Your son was Jason Patrick lost at birth. Oh, honey. And that may be why I got the baby and the baby girl. And yes, you do have a son, but please know that he will be reincarnated. And part, like, part of his soul will be reincarnated through another child that you have. And I do feel in my heart that it will be a, a baby girl. And my father passed in his sleep. <gasps> and your father... How would I have known Real that? Deal, guys. How Real would deal. I? There's no way I could have known that mm -hmm. at all, honey. Um, yes, please follow me, yes. Michaela Cox. I keep putting it in here so you guys can find her. And that was your father's way of letting you know that he has your son mm -hmm. and that your son is with you as well. Um, and they are together and you will meet him again. I promise. In this living life, you will. 
So thank you, Miss New York, very much for allowing me to read you today, honey. Um, I am going to send your team back to you, so thank you again. So everyone, thank you for joining our show. This is Medium Michaela Cox. I'm Medium Sarah McElroy, and we're from Northeast Ohio. We would love to give you guys readings. We do phone, video, and in person. All you gotta do this is the only way you can get a hold of us because there's a front desk, and we don't like managing our appointments. <laughs> so we pay good money to have other people do that for us. Um, the phone number is 330-871-9078. So if you want to book a real private reading, 330-871-9078. And then if you want to pull up your TikTok on your phone. Oh, yeah. Let's see how oh, my doing. gosh. That's so smart. Um, and then so the next person is DSAB5585. DSAB5585. Oh, you guys said I'm awesome. Thank you. Aw, oh, hey, it's Tori. Thank you. You're so sweet. So tonight, what we're doing is readings with Michaela. We did guaranteed readings. Um, I have a couple of those left, and we're bouncing back and forth. And then we're just going to keep going. So thank you guys so much for tapping. Let's get to 100,000 likes. And um, be sure to follow at Media Michaela Cox and myself. Just hit follow on me. This is my page. Um, Thank you guys so much. Thank you everybody for following. So I'm at 450. Oh, okay. 452. All right. Thank so you guys. So here's my TikTok, guys. If you want to. Good idea. Oh, yeah. Get that up there. I don't know. Is that close enough? They probably can't even read. There we go. Maybe. Yeah, stick it in there. <laughs> there. Media Michaela Cox. So that's what it looks like. And my YouTube's up there. So that is not what you'll see, but. Well, hello. Thank Your mama's you, on here. Hello, Mom. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Must be the I'm one of them, she said. You got to call her. Oh, her. thank you, Sierra. No, you don't call to have a reading tonight. Those are for private readings. Tonight, we're just doing readings. We're just doing them. So, we have a couple people that sent candles. The candles were up here, and we hit our goal. So, we're done with those. Those were guaranteed. And now we're gonna we're gonna finish reading those people because they've already got the guaranteed max, and then we're gonna just keep going, okay? Yeah. Okay. So, so CSAB five five eight five. I am here. There she is. You're up, my lady. Is that me? Yes. <laughs> I'm the one that's <laughs> doing it. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And then. Thank you. Yeah, you call the phone number. That's to get private readings with us. Those are private sessions. They're confidential. Those are longer. Those, are, yeah, half hour, hour readings just for you. And you can call there to get those readings. And they have varying pricing depending on how many minutes you want with either one of us. Okay. DSAB. And did you, DSAB, did you want to have a reading regarding loved ones in spirit? Are you looking for psychic messages? Oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for all the tap tabs mm -hmm. and the love. That's what I was doing while you were reading. <laughs> Sending them out. Oh, oh, Father. Yes, yes. Okay, we want to connect tonight. Okay. All right. Okay, everyone, go ahead and hold comments. I'm going to do a reading for Sam. Please make sure you're following, sharing, all these lovely things. We're going to be on here a little bit longer, so be sure to share. Okay, what's going on with the father? Hmm. So I, for whatever reason referred it back to my childhood because signs and symbols relate to me and when I was growing up I had a pet duck and so right away I saw a pond and I saw ducks in it um that's just a sign or symbol for me my my grandfather actually grabbed up one of those ducks and took it home for me and I was about three and the duck followed me all over the farm all the time Aww. so it was my pet duck his name was Fred and we got him a wife <laughs> named Wilma and her husband's name's Fred that's funny <laughs> yep but you're not Wilma though <laughs> could call you Wilma. <laughs> That's a different nickname. I'll take it. Wilma. Okay, so help me understand that. I, I, I feel like this like could be an outdoors situation or walks. I feel more walk related. 
or farm related because I was a farm kid. Never had my clothes on. I just run around Appalachia, or people say Appalachia, I say Appalachia. Um, he said, Father, let's keep going with him. I got a lot of running. I feel like this person was either having trouble with walking, period, and they're showing me, like, yeah, I can run, or if this is something they did in the living. They may have wanted to do it in the living, and I'm supposed to be telling you that they're moving now. They're moving about now. He had statues of ducks and whatnot, but not a farm. Oh, so my So those God. signs and symbols always relate to me. So I just try and explain them to you how they come in. So that represents the ducks that we're seeing here. He has to try and communicate with me in a way that I understand it. So um, he's, I, I would never know that. So the statues of ducks, that's something to let you know as a confirmation that I'm talking to him. Because who would, who would know that, right? That's so weird. Yes, that makes sense. He's probably running, had two fake hips. I felt like it had to do with something like, show her that I am running. That's to let you know that they're feeling good now. You are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're all, we compliment each other all the time. And um, we all love each other so much at the shop. And we all are so nice to each other. So, he said that makes sense. He had two fake hips. So, that is amazing that wow. he came through to show you. I'm okay now. That's what mm -hmm. his message to you is. I am okay now. And what did you do? I'm seeing his body. Um, was there some sort of cremation here? Because I feel like there there was either a conflict among people of how he was to be um, laid to rest in that way. And um, I don't know if he was divided up or something like that. I'm, I just feel a division here. And, you know, I did ask if it was fast, and I don't feel like it was fast. So I think this was like a slower deterioration. No issue around that. No cremation. I felt like that there was something going on. So um, not sure what that may have meant um, to you. So just take that as it is. You may figure it out later. Um, again, I use signs and symbols and representation. Um, another way that that may have been was... Um, I can share, like, my father-in-law, we had trouble getting the headstone. We had trouble getting, um, we didn't know how to do things like that. Like, I didn't know how to get the military stuff uh, with the DD-214. So, things like that. Just trying to get everything laid to rest. Sometimes there was a trouble there, and he's just showing me that it seemed like there was something going on. I mean, yeah, he didn't get it taken care of while he was here. Things like, You yeah. brought that up before. Yeah. So, he feels bad that you guys have to go through all that now? And I just got this, um, also he said, there's no justification. He owned cemeteries, but oddly enough, everything wasn't taken care of. I knew there was something about Girl. the other side going on here that he was about. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. So he probably dealt with headstones and had to deal with like all the drama of trying to get people laid to rest. Thank you for helping me understand what, what was happening. <laughs> That, that's something, isn't it, to own a cemetery? That I can't even is... imagine, like, what that would be like. Really, yeah. Sure did. Oh, goodness. Aww. So these are just representations of how he wanted to share with you. He he worked hard, and um, were, was this business supposed to be carried on then? Were you, what What is inherited here? Because I was this supposed to be you to carry on? Thank you guys for all the tappy taps. My brother worked in the field for a little but left. Okay. I think he was kind of enjoying that, like, carrying on. Like, I, I think he was a kind of person that wanted to hand things down, handed traits down. Like, um, hand, like, was this like an ethnic thing? Because, like, in my family with their ethnicity, we always had like, okay, these are traditions. These are things that we do. This is how mm -hmm. we are. That was my plan, but um, not type of business, right? I see where you're at. Mm -hmm. So just understand that your father comes through to you. And let me get you a sign or symbol to help you understand. Because I think that you're constantly looking like, 
Is he giving me this information? How do I know? So let me get you something here, okay? Oh, what do you want to show her? Okay, this is kind of funny. I've never told anyone this before. Maybe he had a sense of humor. He, sh he showed me Bigfoot, like Sasquatch. <laughs> so what, I don't know what this means to you, but whenever you see it, a Bigfoot for some reason, this has to do with like, um, you could see it on TV or somewhere, or like a meme or something. I see a Bigfoot, no kidding. When you see that, take note of what's happening in your life right in that moment. Um, understand where you're going, what's happening, uh, and he'll give you that. You can, you have to be very specific when you ask him questions. Like, show me, guide me to this sign if my guidance should be a yes or it should be a no. Guide that sign to me. Um, and they will. Sometimes they just do it sporadically. So, I've never told anyone that. I've had apples. I've had horses. I've had huskies. I haven't had a Sasquatch. So, that is hysterical. <laughs> that, to me, um, shows a, a sense of humor from the other side. All right, so we're going to do, thank you so much, and I'm going to release your loved one in spirit back to you, Christy. All right, Thanks. Christy. For sure, hello, thank you. He was funny, thank you. I do not send private messages, but you know what? I am not good at TikTok, so if I was trying to, like, write in the comments, that might have been an accident, so... If you did, I apologize because I, I, it would just say like hold comments or follow me, Media Michaela. And if that happened, I'm very sorry. She's here. Okay. I'm very sorry. That was not intentional. I'm just stupid on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to, I just can't. I'm just a goofball. Okay, Miss Christie, is there um, anything? Would you like a psychic, a psychic reading, or would you like to speak to a loved one in spirit? Yes, please do. Thank you, honey. Good looking out. <laughs> Good looking out. I like that. <laughs> I think that's like a prison thing. Is it? Yeah. I know people that oh. were in prison. They say they used to say, <laughs> looking out in prison all the time. Welcome to Appalachia, guys. <laughs> I know it's Appalachia, but I feel fancy when I say Appalachia, so that's how I say it. <laughs> and I live here, so I can call it whatever I want. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give her some quiet time, and I'm going to type you guys some messages. Are you in the middle of baby proofing your house, Christy? I'm seeing like a baby gate and putting necessary things up and away. This could be that you're nesting and you're expecting or um, there's just changes being made in your house uh, for whatever reasons, maybe routines and rules being set down. Whose grave did you just visit with? Anybody's? Because I am seeing a headstone and that you were just at the cemetery and they're acknowledging that you were there. No, I'm done. With You're all done that. with all that? Okay. Um, so I do feel like there is going to be, maybe this can be a literal, like put a wall up, block something out of your life. It's time to snip, snip, cut that cord, cut that um, access to you off. I am feeling like you have somebody in spirit who is having a hard time breathing, um, specifically like through their nose. Like, I don't know if they were on oxygen or something like that. Um, did you have a somebody in spirit who was had lung issues, COPD, things like that? 
because that is kind of the impressions physically that I'm getting right now from spirit. I do feel like this is a grandmother who wore reading glasses and I do, she's, she's like showing me that she's kind of grumpy, honestly. <laughs> She's kind of grumpy. And she was like, you know, they didn't give a shit about me anyways. You know, yes. something like that. Said yes. Yes. Okay. Um, would this be something about, like, is, was there people in your family who didn't really treat her with the respect that you should of a grandmother? Um, because I do feel like that's what she's trying to tell me is, like, they didn't like me anyways. Like, the, uh, the family you know does this make sense were there people that gave her a hard time or didn't show up or make the effort for her that they should have because she is acknowledging that and she's not mad about it or anything but uh you know how this person was in the living that is their personality on the other side she's showing me that when you're sitting in your living room um, you're going to hear random music, Christy, like you'll hear it out of the distance. Like, is that the church going off or is somebody turn the Alexa on or whatever it may be. And just know that that is your grandmother kind of coming through to let you know that you're not alone and she's by your side. Was she snarky? I can totally, um, kind of pick that up about her personality. Like she's not really, you know, she is my way or highway kind of lady not in that way but she'd let you know if she didn't like you basically okay i do feel like oh okay <laughs> Thank you. christmas christmas time is something that is very special to her and i feel like there's going to be a pair of shoes she's showing me shoes so i don't know if you're getting new shoes or you just bought new shoes for somebody as a christmas gift this can be her way of saying that this is i was here with you i'm still you know around during these holidays and present with you in these moments so I do feel like she had to go to the hospital up in her last her last days um, and that she was getting some kind of medical treatment. OK, so I am feeling that hospital um, sterile kind of environment that she was in a lot right right up to her passing. Does this make sense? And Christmas again, so maybe this could show me that this, her passing, something, some date of importance to do with grandma was around Christmas time or December, okay? Um, so let me know, and I do want to note that she is sending you the number 12, um, and yep, whatever it is that you need to like cross off, she's literally like, cross it off, get rid of it. It's time to let it go and move on. Um, so there is that. And do know that the number 12, that will be from grandma to come through. Okay, when you see that. So thank you very much, my dear, for allowing me to read you today. And I hope that this helped you to know that you're not alone. And loved ones, no matter how close you were, they're with you always. And that is your team. The team I keep sending back to you guys, that's what I'm talking about. Your loved ones, your guides. Whoever else is up there with you, you know? So, mm -hmm. thank you, honey. I'm going to go ahead and send your team back to you. Okay. Um, so, SL Brian 11. SL Brian 11. Hope you're on here. SL Brian 11. I think I said that right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 11. You sent a candle. Oh, thank you for the flowers. You guys are so There's nice. Oh, is. you're here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I don't... I'm going to go ahead and get your reading going. Oopsie. I don't know if it's a she or a he. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't mean okay. to assume. 
All right, are you looking for a mediumship reading today or like psychic messages? What would your intentions be today? Also, make sure you guys go follow mm -hmm. uh, Medium Michaela Cox. Sorry. Tapping you. We're doing a thousand like party today. This is Yay. what the readings are for. We got to get her up to a thousand so she can do her own reading. So I invited her to come over to my house. And here we are. Mm -hmm. So, um, SO, Brian 11, I'm going to call you 11. Can you let me know? You said mediumship reading, please. Oh, my name is Samantha. Oh, that's my stepdaughter's name. And her birthday's around now, so she's named after Samantha the Witch. <laughs> yeah. Aw. Just did her birthday party on Sunday. All right, Samantha. Oh, my leg's asleep. Mm hmm I feel this is like, I feel a very loving feeling here. So is this a relationship that I'm gathering on the other side or somebody that you are very tight with, you know, a strong bond with? My booty's falling asleep from this damn chair. Do you want to trade? <laughs> no. Are you sure? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> oh, I love you too, Media Missy. Hey, ladies. <laughs> I see hey, that. Missy. There she is. Go follow her too, guys. Medium shipper. So, Samantha. I love you, too. <laughs> Samantha. What do we got going on, Samantha? I'm feeling this love feeling. So, this is somebody that you were really tight with. Oh, my father passed last year and a friend passed a few years ago. To me, this is the friend, not the father. I know you may want the father to come through, but your friend is pushing forward here. Um, you said, thank you, Missy. Good luck tonight. Aw. <laughs> so make sure you guys go follow Media Missy. She's going to be going live here on her show, 930 tonight. That's going to be on Facebook. So go for Media Missy Tolly on Facebook. You said my, oh, um, I'm just looking for you here. Samantha. So let me go back to your friend that's coming through, which is funny because our good friend just came through. Like <laughs> she's our other little witch. Yeah, there's your validation. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. So were you in, involved in this in some way? Um, something happened here where I feel like either you, you didn't know quick enough, but I feel like this happened very quickly very quickly this was something I feel like you were involved in like um, you had to help with maybe services or something or maybe you were a part of if the accident I feel like there was some sort of an accident thank you guys so much thank you I'm just gonna watch for the comments to pop up here thank you yes everyone please hold comments I'm gonna do a reading here and um, then we're gonna keep going Thank you guys for all the love and all the hearts and thank you so much for the roses. Thank you, thank you. He said, yes, it was a car accident. I help with services after. That is the perfect validation for you to understand that she's with you. Is there an upcoming wedding or something along those lines? Ooh, thank you guys. Um, is there something that went along with, I feel like there's some sort of a celebration or an anniversary? I was picking up wedding, but that could be anniversary, that could be birthday. There's some sort of, or even anniversary passing, there's some sort of celebration coming up. That's how I see that. I feel like it's within the next month. Um, I'm not sure what went on with, with the passing here and your service part of it, but I see a whole bunch of like, little decorations around like special little decorations so um you said my birthday is next month okay so that helps you understand that she is celebrating with you and um she'll be there she's not missing this party i also see a child energy here this is a living child like she had a child living child. I feel a living oh. child. Okay. Also, 
did you have, I call them womb souls, and I know this is very personal and you don't have to answer if you don't want to. A womb soul is a soul that comes to our physical body and it can be returned back. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with the cells of the body or anything like that. I'm not even gonna say baby, this is a soul. I deal with souls, my job is souls. So I feel that this soul returned back to heaven. We decorated his car after and I was close with his niece, okay. But I also feel, was there a womb soul that, did you lose a womb soul? Um, it's a, a, a soul that came to your body and returned back because this soul is with her. Or not, you know what I mean? This soul is with your friend on the other side. Sorry, I got niece on here and there's so many words. I'm just trying to pay attention. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. So I felt that there was um, a, a young child on the other side that was, you know, just sent back. Um, it may be coming back forward again. That might be why I'm getting this exchange of souls with a body in the other side. So there may be a soul being sent into the living. All right. Are you going? Belly bump. A belly bump. Oh, I'm yeah. I was showing her. <laughs> yeah. Samantha. I feel like these things are happening here. There's things that are coming up. So, and, sorry. Oh, yeah, if, go it's, ahead. if it's her friend, it could be to do with him as well. If it's not her, mm -hmm. like he is going to have a child, mm -hmm. maybe even though he's not here, you know, or does. Or something. So, I wonder if maybe even reincarnating. So, let me just push on that one a little bit more. Hold on one second. Because I don't want to speculate, but I'm trying to relate things how we see them. But I want to actually try and pull more words here. I have bended arm. I don't know if somebody's got a hurt arm, I, and that has nothing to do with it, but it just popped in my head. But I do have bending bending arm here, so I don't, did someone hurt their arm recently? Um, or is there something with the hands going on? And um, with that, I am going to go ahead and release them back to you because um, they are just letting you know that they're with you. They're coming to your birthday party, so you make sure you light a candle. Tonight is Sawen. Uh, we have Sawen celebrations right now. We have all of our um, candles and everything laid out here, flowers, um, herbs and everything. And this is a time when you, um, the veil is very thin. It's Halloween. The veil is very thin. So when, okay. I hope to see you again on here and I'm going to grab another one from Kayla. This is Kelly Marie. Okay. Kelly Marie, are you still on here? Hi, Kelly. Oh, Kelly Marie Artworks. Huh? Thank you. So the, she's a client and oh. she's called the Sage Shack and booked with us. She's a TikToker that's come to us and thank you. So she can validate doing private sessions with me for sure that we had a great reading. And I'm going to have Michaela read you. And since I know all about you, this is perfect because she has a clean slate and it will give you a new point of view. Thank you. Oh, Love awesome. You Thank you. Well, hello, Miss Kelly. And um, I am just going to go ahead and start to channel your energy, whether this be mediumship or psychic. And if there's anything <clears throat> specific, just comment and Sarah will let me know. I, um, I know that's gross. I do feel like you are somewhat of a witch. Would you consider yourself a witch, Kelly, um, or a spiritualist? I do feel very much like you collect your herbies and you live a very spiritual life. So your energy is kind of outputting that light, loving, heavenly aura already, right off the bat. Yes, very spiritual. Very spiritual. Okay. I do feel like that is, I am seeing Leo energy. So do you have a Leo in spirit or are you a Leo? I can't draw the symbol. I can't draw anything. <laughs> Sorry. But that is like from a bloodline is what I'm being shown. It's being passed down. Um, and 
it may have been evenly even ignored recently from your mom or her mom or whatever it may be so you're like the opening door you're opening the door finally and yeah it's gonna be a great freaking time <laughs> I do see horses. Do you like horses in any kind of way? And if not, don't make it fit because this could represent um, good luck as well as I'm being shown a horseshoe. So if you're not a horse person and you don't like riding them or owning them or whatever it may be, you have good luck coming your way. And if you're hoping something's going to work out in your favor, it most definitely is. Your sister is a Leo, but she is alive. Oh, awesome. So um, we very much can pick up on living energy as well. And are you guys close? Because um, she's coming through in some way. May, there may be something going on with her. or She may be reaching out to you soon. I am a psychic, so it could be some kind of prediction as well. It may make sense in the future. Um, but her energy is very much being presented today. And I do feel like you have a grandfather on the other side that you two were close with does this make sense kelly a uh, male in spirit he seems a little bit older obviously i could be wrong if it's your grandfather it could be like an uncle or a dad but there's definitely an older man with a beard full facial hair coming through and he's acknowledging you two as a team a set like these are my kids these are my grandkids kind of vibe um and so hmm i'm feeling just intuitively i am going to you're not super close to your grandfather okay was there a situation you kind of got you and your sister out of having to do with a man with facial hair saving her from that or you or she saving you the other way around I feel as if there is odd tension with this male um like even though he is related to you in that way and he does call you his kids or his grandkids um y'all just don't like him <laughs> for whatever reason so I feel very much like you saved you got her out you traveled, like drove. No, not making sense. Okay, definitely. I can be very much picking up on somebody else as well. So let me just reset here and channel again, Miss Kelly. I know what she's picking up on, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let it unfold. We see things in different ways. I know what she's picking up on. So um, I'm gonna let her get into that. I feel very much like you're at a crossroads right now. I'm seeing literally like blockage in your life um, in whatever way, whether it be direction or some kind of action you need to take, you're really, there's hesitance there um, and you're kind of just sitting with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And before, when she, before she's done, I do have a question for you, but I don't want to. Go ahead, I, Sarah. You're fine. We're tag teaming, okay. girl. Okay. Well, it will let cats out of the bag, so I don't mm -hmm. want to do that because I know stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am seeing yellows around your aura. I'll tell you that right now. I'm seeing a lot of yellows and oranges. Those are good colors for, you know, for your aura. Um, it's a little different from the intuitives, like the indigos and things like that, but that makes sense for right now. Uh, are you native, Kelly? I'm, like, I, I could be wrong about the culture, but I'm seeing, like, face, uh, paint but it's very sacred you know viking viking like i feel so this could past be her lives. past life sorry honey i keep poking yep, you past lives a past life coming through like a viking or do you feel very drawn to like a certain kind of generation or time no okay okay 
So I have a question for you about the, the um, letters that we discussed. Did everything work out for you? What did they come to you? I, I was just really looking forward to hear if they came to you. Then I definitely think it's a past life. Not yet. To. I was hoping that you would get them sooner. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, you are supposed to light a candle today. I did get um, that your friend in spirit, he is showing me that you're supposed to be lighting a candle or you are lighting one. And it's very important that you do because on Sawen, the veil is thin and you can communicate more. And maybe I had this out for a reason. Let me find it, yeah. I have all my candles out, but today an orange candle is very important because the orange candles help connect you to loved ones in spirit. And orange, brown, and black are colors of Sawen. So if you are looking to connect with him, um, I'm going to say that you're going to want to get the orange candles out and then hold on one second. I did see the word marriage. So, um, I hope things are going okay for your marriage because I'm seeing marriage. Um, I hope that everything is going good for you. Um, a sign or symbol. I see the word tradition. I see a bandana. Um, they showed me like a bandana and, um, it would be like a red hanky type of thing. You know, like the traditional bandana pattern with, was it Paisley and it's red. So I am seeing that as well. I think that is going to be the sign and symbol. It's like a red flag, like a red bandana. So wherever mm -hmm. you may see this. It may be an actual physical bandana. It may be like representation. You might see it on somebody wearing one. But that's what I'm seeing there. So bandana is definitely a sign and symbol. So hold on one second here. I do feel like this mail is sending you wisdom, knowledge. He's sending you owls. Ooh, yeah. Definitely he's going to teach you a lot still. They have had a long history. Oh. A long history. Um, and I can see where the wisdom is coming through. You said yes, he is okay. for sure sending me knowledge. I, I think so. I see where the wisdom is coming through and the owl representation. I don't know why you. I'm seeing the bandana. So um, that's just the sign and symbol that he showed me. That was maybe just, I've never had that one either. So It could be you with okay. the higher power the, the, yes whoops, like earlier you see like the your crown armor mm -hmm. yes armor. but in a different representation mm -hmm. maybe he would rather wear a bandana that's awesome keep that together all right let's see thank you miss kelly thank you i'm gonna send your team back to you thank you thank you for allowing me to read you honey okay so we um, we've done all the candles. All right, guys. Do you want to do another one? We sure. did all the candles. You want to do another one? I don't know. Are you getting tired? A you... little bit, but we can definitely okay. get some in the comments for sure. All right, guys. Pump up the jam on the hearts. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what, um, what we do so she can look through here and find someone. Um, please make sure that you follow medium Michaela Cox. Today is our thousand likes party and we need to pump up the jam for her so she can go live on her own page. I had her come all the way over to my house so that we could do this together. Thank you all. Hello, everybody. Honeysuckle says she sent a candle. I don't. I didn't see. Can that. they still do that? I guess even um, though our goals reached. I'm I didn't sure. see it, and here's the list of those that are in the system. I don't see honeysuckle on here. Um, Sierra, absolutely. Did we write a? Okay, I I said her name earlier. Oh, did you? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, go ahead. Yes, absolutely. Sierra Roberts, absolutely, honey. 
let me go ahead and pull you a quick message here, and then we'll see what we got going on with Miss Honeysuckle if yeah. we can do that. All right, Miss Sierra. Thank you, Kelly, honey. I'll follow you all back, I promise. Okay. Oh, yeah, you give us follows. We'll, we'll go back through and follow you. Okay. And Honeysuckle will take care of you. Thank you. Sorry about that. Must just be a system glitch. I don't know. So, Sierra, right off the bat, I'm getting a T name. T. Uh, Tony, Teresa, Tom, Timmy, anything like that. Just a T name. This can also be a place as well. But I do want to recognize as well that it was a lowercase T, which is very important because this could be represented as a cross to Christians. You know, like a, a lowercase T. So... If you're not religious, honey, I'm going to say it's a name or a specific place. I am feeling you have maybe been diving into your family tree lately, Sierra. You might have been trying to figure out your ancestry, your history, where you came from, all kinds of things like that. A lot of teas in your family. Oh, okay. Family. Oh, and then I'm just talking about her family. Look at that. Yes, that's perfect. weird. Okay, so there you go, honey. There's Thank your validation. You. <laughs> um, I do see that you're gonna like open doors for maybe some of your relatives who haven't thought about any of anything that deep. You know what I mean? You're going to awaken a lot of people, is what I mean, in your family. So do know that you are the chosen one. I'm sure you already know that, though, because <laughs> it's not easy being the chosen one. We're breaking curses and all that fun crap that nobody else wants to do. <laughs> I am feeling a spring, and that is totally new to me. I've never seen this symbol before, but what I feel it's meaning to me is, like, are you sprung? Are you high sprung? Like, you, you got to be busy and on the go all the time, or, like, I don't know what that... It just got cold. Or you're, like thrown into something i just feel like i'm sprung so i do very yes. okay very. i do yes i just got chills oh girl yeah. validation thank you for being so open and allowing me to connect with you that really really helps the feedback right away really helps us to keep that connection there as well um she said very and you can book her by calling 330-871-9078 if you would like a private reading she does Zoom, in person, and phone, and we are Eastern Time in Ohio. So if you want a private reading with Michaela, we have a front desk. We pay services so that we don't have to do our own appointments because it's overwhelming. So they take care of us. So 330-871-9078. The business is called The Sage Shack in Louisville, Ohio. I smell sage. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like, wow. There's the last thing I need to say. I haven't smelled it that strong, like, since I got here. That was in my face. Are you burning sage tonight, Sierra? I feel like that was almost meant to happen because I was trying to pull one last thing for you. One last sage, sister. Burn the crap out of it. If you don't like to burn sage, very much try other cleansing methods. Maybe this is spirit saying you could use a good old-fashioned cleanse. Like, um, you don't like sage, you can use sprays. You can use bells. Literally, the dingle of a bell will release any tension in the air. Um, so, definitely consider that, honey. But you have before. Oh, cool. Well, maybe think about doing it again just to cleanse, you know, the energy. And like I said, there's smoke-free methods as well. So, thank you, Sierra, for allowing me to pull you through, honey, and your energy. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. And then... The other person Sorry, that was... I keep stabbing you. You're fine, you're fine. Just stabbing her leg over here. Aw, thank you, Mama Calhoun. And then, Honeysuckle, I know you were interested, too, and we will respect that. <coughs> um, you sent a candle. I didn't see it in there, but I respect that. And because um, TikTok does make mistakes all the time. I've seen that happen before. Christy-9, you said I had a candle reading, but wanted to ask a question real quick. Sure, ask a question. Kelly, yes. Any, any any candle works, honey. It's the intention. You could inscribe. Mm -hmm. Like take a bobby pin or the back of an earring even, whatever you may use. 
and write on it whatever your intentions are. Thank you for all the compliments. Thank you. Yeah. It's really fun to learn dif different ways to do what we do because the smoke gets heavy sometimes. And, like, bronchitis and asthma don't sit well with that. So it's good to learn new things. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, like, this evening... <coughs> I have a little candle cauldron set up here this evening to celebrate Samhain with some special little herbs and goodness in here. It's adorable. Yeah, we have a lot set up for Samhain. We've got runes laid out in Labradorite and everything like that. No, the readings are chosen at random, honey, Miss Tina. What we do is we set a goal of 10 candles, and those are always guaranteed. We do 10 guaranteed. And then we just read um, whatever in between. Sometimes we take breaks and just grab some people. But yeah, no, you can get, we do readings here without candles. It's just, we set a goal kind of for ourselves, you know, mm -hmm. and then we um, continue as well through the whole thing. Thank you all. Mm -hmm. Yep. Frankincense and myrrh is often used in holy sacred spaces like churches, funerals, things like that. And that actually has a higher purpose of opening up our pineal gland, which awakens our third eye and our psyche. We're able to connect with spirit. It makes so much sense why you could sense her at her own funeral. Oh, yeah. And then... Aloha from Hawaii. I wish I was there right now. It's getting cold here. <laughs> Did you want me to do Honeysuckle 37? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Honeysuckle honey. 37, I will do that real quick. So, Honeysuckle 37, did you want a, were you looking for mediums, or were you looking, like, to connect with a loved one today on this beautiful Samhain um, Holy Day? Or are you looking to, um, oh, well, thank you guys for, for watching us. Thank you for enjoying. A hundred percent she was. <laughs> so, if you guys could just help me understand here, um, Honeysuckle were you looking for like life advice, psychic advice, or do you want a mediumship reading? I just like to kind of pick up on that. I'm gonna. I hate to do this, but I'm drinking coffee and I'm trying to put gum in. <laughs> Father, okay. I found a mail, so I'm glad that you are giving me permission to connect. Okay, what do we got going on here? Did this father have a heart attack? Because my heart just started pounding and my chest hurts. And I've got pains on the side, so I don't know if there was something to do with, with hospital situation. Um, I do not feel like this was um, like an accident or anything. I feel like this was a sickness, okay? Yes. He said yes, okay. Was there a situation where um, people weren't with him right away? I, I have a feeling of, I hate to say this, but I have a feeling of kind of being alone when this happened. Um, so I just want to hear what you have to say about that, or maybe you weren't able to get there, but I feel like um, there was something here where they passed in a way that was on their own. Yeah. Is that yes? That was the other yes. <laughs> oh, that was the original yes? Okay. I'm seeing like Tennessee or mountains in some way too. Um, I'm not sure what that might have to do with you, but I see like, <coughs> mountainous scenery. He was outside when he had the attack. He was outside when he had the attack. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that, and thank you for validating, because that's when he was showing me. It was like, oh. And I understand that you probably felt, you know, that you would have liked to have been there, and I totally get that. And Spirit said, you know, there's nothing that you could do, of course. We, you know, we know that from Spirit, because they're okay um, on the other side. They really don't feel pain. It's amazing. Um... My brother-in-law is on the other side. He's taught me a lot of lessons because he comes through often. I know, he said that's he was amazing. outside. So, um, hold on one second. And were you looking for, I see, um, like a title or some sort of paperwork? Um, because of COVID, they wouldn't let me see him right because away. Because of COVID, they wouldn't let you see him right away. Oh, honey. I would be very salty. Yeah. I can understand that. I would be, well, more than salty. Well, that's probably why he's bringing through that. He was alone, but not by choice. You know yeah I'm sorry that that happened so he is bringing that through you will have to I think that you might be tortured by that mentally mm -hmm. that's not your fault no that is not your fault that is a horrible thing that was put upon us 
her mother is looking all the time. For documents and papers and things like that. He's trying oh. to help her. Just understand to let you know that he is trying to guide her. So what she has to do is ask him very specifically. I need to know where this particular thing is. Put this, put a vision <laughs> in my head. Is it in a dresser? Make a dresser pop in my head. Because that's how we use signs and symbols. Mm -hmm. So you have to be specific with spirit. Ask him directly and have him give you a way to answer you. Because if you're not a psychic medium and you can't hear them, you can't hear them, you can't see the visions easily, you know, you have to ask them. Mm -hmm. And they can communicate even if you're not a medium. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you. I hope that that helps you. That was a nice and reading. Thank you. Oh, hi, Abby's mom, 1019. Hello, hello. <laughs> you said, I have a video of being in the hospital with him. Told him it was okay to go. I was the last to see him. Oh, I just got chills on my whole body. That's devastating. That is devastating. You know, I know a few people that have passed from COVID, and I know what their families went through, and I know what their little children went through. I, one of our best friends passed away of COVID. Um, and they couldn't get to him and just, just terrible, just terrible. Um, so I'm, I get it. You're, you're suffering and you know, America and the world suffers with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, honey, you are not alone. We are here for you. You said I miss him so much. I know. And I feel the tears. I know you do. Like, my eyes are burning and, like, kind of welling up. So, I definitely feel those. I feel a lot like you drown it out. Oh, Mama Calhoun, you said I lost 11 residents alone with only you. At least oh. they had you, so I'm so glad that you guys were able to care for people. And we just absolutely appreciate that because I know these things are going to continue. And we're going to need dedicated, loving people like you to hold the hands of those who are passing. And if you can't touch somebody, at least they know that you're there. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. I'm so glad that I got to read you and that I didn't miss you because I really think you needed to hear this message. You're welcome, honey. You're welcome. This is Aubrey. It's been a while. I would love to know if Abby has any messages for you. For you. Yes. So Aubrey is a regular customer of mine and Missy's. Mm -hmm. And um, she, her daughter, I'm just going to tell you because she already mentioned her name. She has a daughter in spirit. Her name is Abby and um, I can read her too. She's really easy and she loves coming over to my house. Um, mm -hmm. Abby in spirit comes over to my house and I've given a lot of readings. So um, if you would like to give her a message, it would be cool because it would be a different person. And then she would have a reading from all three of us from the Sage Shack. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give her a quick yeah, message? Yeah, absolutely. Aubrey. And her daughter is Abby. Mm -hmm. Aubrey's mom. Does Abby have an older brother? Or a, a male I, a brother at all? I do see a boy. She's showing me a, a young boy that she plays with often or visits. Thank you. We love you too. Thank you everyone for the follows and the hearts and following Michaela. I am seeing an L name. L. She has two younger brothers, but they're not your sons, though. Okay, so maybe from her dad. Um, so just know that she does visit her brothers often, no matter where they are or who they're with. Um, and she does play with them. And I not sure if they can see her or not, but she's acknowledging them that she, she very much looks up to them. Your mom's name is Lori. Aw, are you close with your mom? That's why. She said not at the moment. Oh. That's why that's being brought up. Okay, that would make sense. Okay, so maybe that's why Abby's bringing up the brothers and things. She's trying to bring you together again 
in that way. Mm -hmm. Would you say so, Sarah? Yeah, I I think Abby's showing in general family importance. She's like, I'm visiting my brothers. I see what's going on with you and grandma. I think she's just letting you know she's making her rounds. Yeah. So the message I would say today is on this Samhain, on this beautiful day where the veil is thin, watch for those signs and symbols within your home and absolutely you know she's gonna flicker those lights yeah I was just gonna say she's showing me that you're searching for her like you're constantly looking for her and then right after that she showed me beautiful hair um, beautiful beautiful luxurious hair so I don't know if this was hers oh yeah was it Aww. she's gorgeous oh honey Abby's beautiful and yes her mother is always always looking for her and of course a mother would oh absolutely i'd never stop of course and do you know she plays with your hair she like that's the thing the hair is so beautiful she plays with it she'll touch your hair okay that's really really cool because i've said a lot of these same things too i picked really? up on abby's beauty uh -huh. yes i picked up on her gorgeous hair she's beautiful hair she's a stunning stunning girl that's amazing well i'm so glad that you're here aubrey she was waiting for you your head is always tingling. There she is, oh, yeah. letting you know, like, you know, I got you, Mom. I'll have to show you a picture of her. She's yeah. such a beautiful girl. Aw, absolutely. I would love to see it. Yeah. Well, thank Welcome you, to Aubrey. Honey. I'm going to send her back to you. She is so excited um, to play with her brothers, and I do feel like, yeah, she's going, especially tonight. She'll be making her presence known, so look out for her, honey. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. I think we're going to close the reading. Michaela has a long drive home. I yeah. do. It's 10 o'clock here, yep. so I got to get home to my family. Yes. So. Um, but uh, this was amazing. You. I hope that you all enjoyed this. I know I did very much. Yeah. And I appreciate you, Sarah, for bringing we're me We're going to keep here. doing I think this is kind of fun. I know. This, this is, probably, like, super fun. We got to bring Missy in and yeah. get her um, her followers. We're trying to get her to 1,000, so please find her like her and everything like that all those Please good do, things yeah, oh absolutely. you get some drive safe messages too oh thank you all i tell her that all the time i call upon Sar archangel michael every time i get in my car because he's my dude <laughs> he's my dude he, he's gonna get me there <laughs> <laughs> oh my god happy halloween everyone i hope you enjoyed something you know i actually oh that's your that? yeah that's my coat Give me this <laughs> I actually got my little witchy hat. I forgot mine. She has a witchy hat too. But when I put it on, I think I look like um, a scarecrow. Honestly, you look <laughs> like you could be in The like Hobbit. Elf. Like the beautiful <laughs> yeah, elves. Like yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Danny. So happy Samhain, everyone. Happy Samhain. Bye-bye. Light thank a candle. You. Bye. Thank you. I'm going to turn this on. i got to reach in here.